All right, gang, it's gonna start foaming up on you when it does that. That's, that's when you just take, and take all that foam off the top of there. That's the gas from them beans, y'all. That's what you don't want in you. And that's what that baking soda will help prevent. So anyway, just kind of skim it off. If you gotta watch this too, if you do it this way, because it sure will foam up and boil over. And then you'll be cleaning your stove and your kitchen floor and everything else. So, all right, that looks pretty good. Give her another quick stir. All right, make sure you get all the stuff back down in there again. Throw this away. Put the lid back on there, kind of partway covered like that. And just watch it. And it may foam up again if it does. Turn it down, scoop some more off. And then uh, just drop it down to simmer. It should be okay though. All right, so we got the beans still going here. They've been on probably about, an, about a half hour or so. Time to add some leftover ham from Christmas. I just kind of chopped it up, cubed it up. You know, bite-sized pieces basically. That's gonna, that's a hickory smoked ham. It's gonna flavor these beans. All right, and these beans still probably have another hour and a half or so to simmer. I'm gonna leave the lid tilted off just a little bit so the some of that liquid will evaporate while the beans are cooking, and we'll be back later on. Check out the beans. Doing a little ham, some salt and pepper and stuff in there. Oh yeah, looking good. They get a little mushy whenever they get done too. It's got a little, ooh, that's hot. Got a little uh, rice over here. And cornbread in the oven. Baby llamas, cornbread, and uh, did some rice. But uh, what I did, let's see if I can readjust here. So, what I did, there you go. <laughs> um, took some uh, baby llamas, put them in some water, just plain, ordinary tap water, let them soak overnight. This evening, about 24 hours later, I drained that water off, put some fresh water on the beans, and then I brought them up to a boil, and then lowered the temperature down to simmer, and let them simmer for about an hour and a half, two hours or so. And during that simmer period, I added some salt, some pepper, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder, and um, you really want the flavor of the beans to come out, so you don't want to, you don't want to use a whole lot of, of different flavors. But uh, I put some smoked ham in there from Christmas that we had. And um, I think that's about it. It was a real simple dish, y'all. Very good, too. And, and you let them cook long enough, they start, the, the beans kind of, some of them start getting a little mushy. That kind of thickens up the sauce, the gravy that's in there. And that, that, that gives you some, some good stuff to soak up with that cornbread that you make to go with this. So I'm going to give this a try, y'all. Y'all saw it earlier? Here we go, let's see what I got. Oh, I forgot to mention too. Y'all check it out here, see? I got this, uh, you can use some hot sauce or whatever. I, I actually like to use some like uh, banana peppers that are, uh, these are uh, deli sliced hot pepper rings, but basically I like to use some, uh, some hot peppers of some kind, usually banana peppers is what I like with my white beans or llama beans and uh, the pickled. So, I'm gonna just get a little bit of this juice out of here is what I'm gonna do. Doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. But again, hot sauce or whatever else you wanna put in here, y'all go for it. Just fix it the way that y'all wanna fix it, y'all. Ain't no right or wrong way to do it. Don't that look pretty back behind me over there? It's gonna be a beautiful night, y'all. Nice, beautiful, clear night here in Austin, Texas. All right, let's give this a try, y'all. Let me get some piece of the ham right here. Get over here, boy. Get over here. All right, folks, there you go. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Mmm. That is so good. Hey, Papa. Good stuff, bro. Mm-hmm. Keith did his red beans and rice and everything. And, and today's 1st of January, 2014. 
So instead of doing black eyed peas, I did baby llamas. But the wife made something with some black eyed peas, so we covered. Mm hmm. Get your little cornbread, a little butter. Sop up some of that juice. Good stuff. Mm hmm. Mm. That is fine, y'all. I think we're done. Excellent meal. Again, thanks for all my subs. I appreciate everybody sticking with me, uh, new and old. And I uh, hope everyone has a blessed and a very happy new year. We'll see y'all next time. Oh, and I and, and, uh, forgot to tell you too. This next week, this next weekend, I'm off for a week vacation. I'm traveling. I won't be around. So it may be a couple of weeks before I get back to doing another video. So in the meantime, y'all be safe. Y'all be good. Treat each other with kindness and love. And I'll see y'all when I get back. Unless I do something crazy. Decide to upload while I'm on my trip. But that ain't gonna happen. Oh no. Alright y'all. Be good. Take care. See y'all next time.